now let's see an example which is related to the total probability rule okay so we have seen earlier that how the total probability we can compute note that total probability is also your unconditional probability we saw in the dhoni's example that how we can compute okay so this is a very interesting question the question number 3 they are saying that the probability that the central bank would increase the interest rate is 0.7 and the conditional probability of recession happening when the interest rate is increases 0.9 so what we can do is they are saying that probability that increase in the interest rate and then you have the probability as the decrease in the interest rate these are the two mutually exclusive event this is 0.7 this is your 0.3 1 minus 0.7 then the conditional probability of recession happening when interest rate is increase so when interest rate is increase the probability of recession happening this is equal to 0.9 okay right then also the conditional probability that recession will happen if the interest rate is decreased recession will happen if the interest rate is decreased is 0.2 they are asking us to compute the unconditional probability that recession will happen okay so what we can say is this is the node where recession is happening and this is the node recession is happening why here you see, see interest rate is increased and recession is also happening recession given interest rate increase here interest rate is decreased and here we see that recession happening given interest rate is decrease so what is the probability of this node okay what we say is the probability of this node will be equal to probability of this node multiplied with this probability of this node okay so if you see is for the tree diagram it will be much simpler okay you don't worry about the formula but the formula you can see the probability of recession and interest rate happening both at the same time will be given like this which is exactly the multiplication of this that is 0.7 with 0.9 so 0.63 is the probability that recession is happening as well as the interest rate is increased okay similarly if i want to know the probability of this node what i have is this is 0.3 okay and this is 0.2 okay which is 0.06 that means if i add these two 0.69 is the probability that the recession will happen doesn't matter whether the interest rate is increasing or decreasing it is your total probability or it is also your unconditional probability okay now next they are asking what the probability that recession will not happen note that the probability that recession is not going to happen see there are only two cases that is possible either recession happens or recession does not happen these are the mutual exclusive case so the summation of this should be one this we know it is 0.69 so the probability of recession not happening will be 1 minus 0.69 that is your 0.31 this is the probability of recession not happening this is how we can compute okay or if you want you can also compute this way i will give you another way so you can see this is a point where recession is not happening so if this is 0.9 mutually exclusive this should be 0.1 so 0.7 into 0.1 this will be your 0.07 then you see this down if this is 0.2 this will be 0.8 so 0.8 into 0.3 will be 0.24 so 0.24 plus 0.07 will be 0.31 this is how you can compute right so this is this is very very interesting stuff over here 